car. Um, this is the, uh, since it got cold outside, the building that I work in is a 10,000 square, square feet concrete block. Um, it's, a little, it, it's a little cold this time of year to, to work outside in it, but I've got a little uh, shed here we built a while back that we can heat. So we thought we'd drag in the 304 that we pulled out of the 72 scout and tear it down. And what we do first is we'll strip off whatever we don't need on it. Then I uh, do a uh, leak down test on it and flip it over and uh, check the bearings and we'll pull the heads off. Hopefully we don't have to do little or anything on it. And once we get done with that, uh, we will go ahead and uh, uh, start building it back up. Um, not going to do a whole lot to it, other, hopefully, other than replace gaskets. A little two barrel here will come off, and we'll put a throttle body fuel injection kit on it, which will require us to change the distributor. Um, I don't plan on putting headers on it, but you know, these engines up here on maximum RPM on about 3600 RPM, so uh, headers aren't going to be in the set much. Um, so, We'll pause here for a minute and uh, first start. Well, I guess we won't pause. We'll go ahead and take my uh, adjustable load leveler off the air and, and then we'll start stripping some more again.
All right, we're back out here working on the uh, 304 that came out of the Scout. And what we were doing this time, we'll show you how we did it here in a minute, is we were doing a leak down test on the cylinders. I've got my uh, leak down uh, tester right here. And basically what you do is you, you move the cylinder to top dead center, and uh, then you load it up by turning that valve on until it gets down there to the zero. Then you leave it there and let it run for a while and it'll calculate the amount of leak down. So far uh, we've done all but the last cylinder here on it and it they've all checked out with very low leakage on it. So before we did that we used our little tool here in the drill it's just got a little uh, tip on it, and this works on interna internationals. Put that down into the oil pump, and we ran some oil through it. I ran that for four or five minutes uh, to get some oil in it. Um, normally, you're do when you do a leak down test, you do it when you can start the engine and let it uh, run for a while and get warm. But obviously, we can't do that here. So the one thing that we did find out find is we got a little bit of oil in there when we were running that and uh, it's coming from uh, uh, the um, oil uh, filter mount or mount there so we know we got a leak, oh, bad oil leak there actually I'm sure we've got a lot of bad oil leaks in this this is the worst uh, caked engine I've ever worked on uh, so we, we have a lot of cleaning to do but basically you take this I've got three sizes that came with the kit that I have. You screw that in to the spark plug hole. Oh, sorry. Before we do that, we need to find top dead center. Now, I don't recommend doing it the way I'm doing now with aluminum rod, but I'm being very careful uh, in feeling it so that we don't scrape the cylinder or the uh, or the head, Brad will turn that around until it goes all the way out. A little bit more. Okay, we're there. Try that again. Normally, just use a small wooden dowel on this. Keep going. Okay, back. Right there. Okay, so we got that top dead center. Very important. I'll let Brad do that because it's kind of a two hand job. Interesting thing about it is we were taking the spark plugs out. All of them came out rather easily. I'm going to turn the camera over to Brad here. Except for one. And when we finally got that one out, apparently it hadn't been replaced. So, okay, so now what I'm going to do, and every cylinder is going to leak down a little bit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the valve here until it goes to zero, until this goes to zero. And you're hearing some air go through it. So what I do is I get it up there as close to zero as I can. Here we go. Okay. Okay. And then we just let it run. You're going to lock it here. There we go. Okay, and we'll just let it run a little bit. You can see I, yeah, let me get that back to. Oh, if this is a lock, I won't lock it this time. Okay, now we'll watch this. You see it'll start to go down slow. We've got very little leakage on this.
You might hear the air compressor kick on here in a little bit. So that's it. As far as I can tell, we've got very little leakage on it. And uh, that's it for the compression test. So, or I mean the leak down test. Came out pretty good. Um, but considering the outside of the of the the condition of the outside of the engine, I'm obviously going to tear it all down because I'm going to have to replace all the gaskets anyway. I'll do some more te testing when I get there. Um, next thing I'll do is drain the oil out of it and take the exhaust intake and and uh, valve covers off and strip down the front part of it, and then we'll start taking heads off and look and see what we got got then. And then we'll flip it over and check the bearings. But uh, that should be it uh, for for this episode. Um, next thing you see us is next time we work on it, we'll go ahead and strip it all down. So, till next time, this is WD0 DXD signing off.